What's up guys, it's Brian here. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick little video that I've been meaning to do for a while. I made this custom shelf a few months back for my commando squads, and I wanted to show you guys how I made it, because I know like a lot of people like displaying their minifigures, but not a lot of display stands are very cheap out there, and there's some pretty good techniques you can use with just Lego parts to make some pretty cool stands. So I'm going to show you guys this little stand I built over here. So here's this little minifigure stand that I built. It just holds my three commando squads. You might have seen it in the background of some of my videos. I've had it up in that little space up there, next to all the Kylo Rens and the uh, Dulan Mustafar. I have a few other trinkets up there as well. But I wanted to put all these guys on display because I didn't like the way I was displaying them before. I just had them like on plates on my uh, on my minifigure uh, on my on my shelf over there. I had them on like plates over there, and I just didn't like it. So I made a permanent little display shelf for them out of just pieces from my own collection. Now this is just the way that I did it. I feel like there are a lot of other cool ways to make stands out of um, out of Lego parts for your minifigures, and I'm sure that you guys have methods that you use as well. So drop them down below to show what you guys use as well. But I'm going to show you guys what I use for them. So obviously all the commando squads are here, the betas, rows, and deltas. And the way I did this is I put each commando on a 4x4 plate. I'm sure you could also use the um, the minifigure, collectible minifigure stands to make it a little more sleek. This is obviously just very gray. You can make them any colors that you want. And then I connect. I have a lot of the uh, gray 2x6s, as you guys know. And I just stuck them down at the bottom to connect them all together. And I used one of these, uh, what is this, 1x2x5 bricks. And I had to put an extra brick up there to give it the correct height for the minifigure. I added some... Um, these slopes there, what are they, uh, three by four sloped bricks, and I use those as the feet just to give it some stability, and you can kind of see how I did that down there, took each of these, put them on the side so that it has some good like uh, height, and so that they have some good headroom under there as well, otherwise it would have been way too cramped, so I had to use that extra brick. I threw some tile at the top just to make it look nice. I probably could have put some more tile around it, but I wanted to keep this very minimalistic just for my purposes. So obviously this is something you could do with any of your figures. And to make it easier for you, I mean, this is also very a very thin shelf. Um, if you were to expand this and make it bigger, you'd probably have to use some more stable uh, plates down at the bottom to hold it all together because these bricks would these bricks are not the most stable. You can see that I can I just bent it in a little bit and it would probably even bend even further because you just never know. I could probably put some plates underneath to make it more stable, but it's okay for right now. But if you were to make it a little bigger, you'd probably need some extra support beams under there as well. So I have always been looking into like different minifigure displays. I have that one little like Chinese knockoff uh, display stand up there. It works okay, but I just like I would I wanted something different for my uh, for my commandos because they're my uh, they're the the uh, centerpieces of my channel. And of course they've been uh, around forever, especially these guys down here, so I wanted to put them on a more prominent display shelf. So that's how I made this shelf. I hope this might have helped you guys a little bit, because I know that some of you like displaying your figures, and I certainly do. Some of you also like making little vignettes to display your figures as well. That's really neat as well. I just use these parts because I happen to have a lot of them. I have a lot of these plates and a lot of these bricks, so I use them to, uh, to do it that way. If you wanted to make a stand like this, it probably wouldn't even be that expensive on BrickLink. You can probably just find the pieces you want in the colors you want. These 4x4 plates were not that expensive at all. I got these 2x6s at the Lego store a very long time ago, but even still, I would recommend getting plates to make it look even more sleek than this, because this is a little bit boxy. So, whatever you guys want to do, it's up to you, of course, but if you want to display your minifigures, this is the way that I do it, and it's a good little stand that I recommend you using. So, that's going to just about do it for this little video, guys. Hope this helped you with uh, some of your display stand needs. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below, and be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. This has been Brian from Watermelon Studios. Peace out, guys.